Hello there and welcome to Living in Provo, Utah. I'm Scott Walters with Best USA Realty. Today I'm going to talk about five pros and five cons of living in Nephi, Utah. Nephi is about 40 minutes south of Provo, Utah. And so we're going to talk about the, the pros and cons of that town. Hey, and before we get into that, if you're thinking of moving to the area, my contact information is in the comments section down below. But with that, let's talk about the five pros and five cons of living in Nephi, Utah. Okay, my pro number one for Nephi, Utah is affordable housing. I mean, one of the reasons that people choose to drive 30 minutes or 40 minutes or even 50 or 60 minutes to work up in Utah County or Salt Lake County from Nephi is affordability. I remember not too long ago, I was just showing a couple homes and we were looking at basically 3,000 square foot Rambler style homes and there was a $100,000 difference between basically the same floor plan of home in Utah County as compared to Juab County or in Nephi. So they chose to buy in Nephi so that they could have, uh, you know, basically the same size of house, but a much cheaper payment because the home was way more affordable. So that's one big pro to living in Nephi is the fact that homes tend to be more affordable there than in either Utah County or Salt Lake County. So it makes it a very attractive option for home buyers on a budget. Con number one for Nephi is limit, limited amenities. I mean, it's a small town. There's just not that many amenities there. You're not going to have um, a whole bunch of shopping or dining or entertainment uh, options there. Now, there is one theater, the Salt Creek Cinemas, I believe. And then there's one grocery store, Nebo Market. And there are a few restaurants in town. In fact, one of my favorite uh, Mexican restaurants, El Dorado, is on the main street in, uh, in Nephi. And, of course, they do have a few... Um, a few hotels in town. There's basically three main intersections or, or off ramps off of I-15 and that's where they have a lot of the uh, restaurants and things of that nature for Nephi. But other than that, I mean, you're going to be having to go up north to do most of your shopping or if you want to hit other restaurants. You're going to take, um, God, it's probably about 17, 18 minutes up to Santa Quin to Macy's Grocery Market, probably 25 minutes or so to Payson where you've got a Walmart and then probably 20, I'd say 28, 29 minutes on up to Spanish Fork where you have uh, uh, the Canyon Creek, sh Canyon Creek Shopping District where you've got the Costco and more movie theaters and a whole bunch of dining options and, and shopping like at Hobby Lobby or Lowe's. So there's a lot more options there, but you're going to have to drive a little bit. So pro number two for Nephi, it's got that small town charm. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's a Nephi is a community that's known for being very friendly, kind of that close-knit uh, atmosphere. You kind of have it's a slower pace of life there. And, uh, you know, you've got one high school, so it's like it's, all the kids know each other for the most part. And it also really has a lot of charming turn-of-the-century homes, at least, of course, in the uh, kind of in the central part of town. The older part of town, there's a lot of turn-of-the-century, kind of charming Victorian-looking homes in that area. On the south end and the north end, there are newer subdivisions there if you're looking for for a newer build to live in. But in the it, kind of in the heart of the town, you'll find a lot of older, charming uh, homes. In fact, I'll show you one right now. All right, so con number two, employment options. They're pretty limited in uh, Nephi. The Nephi job market's way more l limited compared to working up in, say, Utah County or Salt Lake County. Um, there's just fewer options there. I mean, of course, you could work at the grocery store there. There's a foam store, my or factory, or whatever you want to call it. My uncle worked there for many years, a place where they made foam products. Uh, 
I'm trying to think. There's Barnes Bullets that makes ammunition. That's in Mona, so that's about five minutes to the north. But, I mean, other than that, there's just not a whole lot of industry down that way. So a lot of people either work from home. I actually have a relative who lives down there. He makes a commute all the way up uh, past the Salt Lake area to work in, in the tech industry. So, anyway, you're probably going to be commuting if you want to work uh, in the just to have more options for employment opportunities. You'll be going either up to Utah County or Salt Lake County. Pro number three, outdoor recreation. I mean, the area of Nephi, surrounding Nephi, just provides all kinds of opportunities for outdoor enthusiasts. There's easy access to a lot of hiking, biking, camping, fishing. So uh, probably 25 minutes to your west are the sand dunes. A lot of people like to go out to the sand dunes and camp and ride their ATVs. And you are literally, Nephi literally sits at the mouth of Nephi Canyon, and you're 10 minutes or so, you're on the Nebo Loop Road. The Nebo Loop Road, you've got all kinds of camping, uh, hunting, fishing, biking, hiking opportunities there. And that's just minutes from uh, downtown Nephi. So people love living in Nephi for just all the outdoor recreation. I mean, the Nebo Loop uh, Scenic Drive is one of the most beautiful drives that you can take. Uh, the fall colors are absolutely spectacular. So that's really close. I mean, there's just so many opportunities. Uh, and of course, if you want to go down to some fishing or boating, you're just a few minutes uh, south towards Yuba, that, which is a nice reservoir. I'd say probably 25 minutes or less from Nephi is Yuba Reservoir. And then, of course, if you want to go up to some of the high mountain lakes, then you're probably going to be an hour and a half up to some of those. But anyway, outdoor recreation abounds in the Nephi area. One thing I wanted to add to the uh, outdoor rec recreation equation for my pro in Nephi is the fact that it has a fun little golf course just right there, right at the mouth of, the, of Nephi Canyon. So it's just, uh, it looks uh, like a fun golf course to play. I see a lot of locals out there enjoying it. So that's just one other outdoor recreational opportunity you have right there close in Nephi. Con number three is the extreme weather of Utah. You know, Utah experiences uh, very cold winters and very hot summers, and Nephi is no exception. So, you know, in the summertime, those temperatures can get up to 100 or over 100, and there's, a, you know, a little bit more humidity, so it can get feeling really hot. And then in the winters, sometimes we get a lot of snow. This past winter was a very uh, heavy uh, precipitation winter. We got a lot of snow. In fact, there's a lot of... Uh, uh, there's a whole lot of uh, snow melt going on right now. The rivers are ab absolutely swollen with that runoff, that springtime runoff, and the waters are very uh, brown and murky. By the time the runoff is done, the str those streams will be pretty small, but right now they're they're flowing very big and dangerous because of that uh, very, very heavy winter that we had. So just be aware of that. You're going to really experience that for the most part all up and down the Wasatch Front for Utah. Once you get down south, if you're looking in the southern part of the state, um, it's pretty much a, a more of a mild climate. Like if you're in St. George, you're going to have more mild climate in the winter. Not really snow. Every now and again, they might have a snowstorm, but nothing that ever really sticks. But the summers are very hot down that way. But anyway, uh, one of the, you know, that is one of the cons is just the extreme weather. But it does mean that we have all four seasons, and Nephi experiences that, a cold winter, a hot summer, but usually some pretty beautiful springs and falls. My pro number four is the scenic beauty. I mean, uh, Nephi is nestled right at the foot of Mount Nebo, which is over 10,000 foot mountain. And it's a, just a really majestic mountain. Of course, that's the namesake for the, the scenic Nebo Loop Drive, which I talked about earlier. So you've got all that beautiful scenery right there. And again, you're just minutes away over to the sand dunes, which is also a very scenic and beautiful area to, to check out. So, I mean, you just have a lot of views. It's just a peaceful environment all around Nephi. So that's one of the reasons why people love living there. It's just, it's scenic and it's beautiful. Con number four, you've just got limited healthcare facilities. Now there actually is a hospital on the north end of Nephi, but it's limited. And you know, if you're gonna have bigger surgeries, they'll probably transport you on up to Utah Valley Medical Center in Provo, and perhaps even on up to Salt Lake for other serious trauma incidents. So it is a smaller, facility but at least there is one there that I don't I'm trying to th think maybe it's been there 10 years or so now so but you've got limited uh, doctor's offices and things like that you're probably going to be traveling all the way up to south Utah County to at least to go to a lot of your different doctor's appointments now there's a few doctors and dentists in town but not a lot you're, you're you are pretty limited that way so anyway you just uh, that's one of the the cons just the health care services and specialized treatment they're pretty much going to be found more in the larger cities and not in Nephi. I'd say con number five is just that strong sense of community. You know, Nephi residents, they come together for various events and activities. So this kind of fosters a real strong sense of community and support among the neighbors. 
Uh, I think one of the biggest things a lot of people really enjoy looking forward to is a Ute Stampede every July. This is their main city celebration that goes on. It's early on in July. Yeah, yeah, I think early on in July. So they always have a rodeo and just all kinds of activities all throughout the week. And uh, where it's such a small town, just it seems like almost everybody knows everybody. So it really contributes to that the close-knit, uh, charming town. Con number five is transportation. There just aren't a whole lot of transportation options as far as like public transportation because you're just, you're not in the urban area. You're really more of a rural type environment. So you don't really have buses or any of the tracks, train systems running down to Nephi. Pretty much everybody's going to be commuting via car to get anywhere. So that's just one of your, your drawbacks. They're just really, everyone's going to be relying very heavily on their private vehicles for commuting and getting around. Now, just by way of reference, when, I, when I'm talking about having to rely on your private vehicle to get around, just so you kind of get an idea of the distances Nephi is to at some of the other more urban areas, you're uh, on I-15 is the main, uh, the main road that runs right through Nephi, goes north to south, up into Utah County, up into Salt Lake County. But I-15, you're about 30 minutes to the Spanish Fork area. That's where I talked about. You've got a, a, quite a few more shopping opportunities that, and options there with Costco and, and Lowe's, Hobby Lobby, all the different restaurants. You're about 40 minutes from Nephi to Provo. So if you want to head on up to a BYU football game, you're going to be about 40 minutes there. It's about the same amount of distance to get to the Orm uh, area like Utah Valley University. So that's all going to be about 40 minutes away. And then if you need to commute on up to Salt Lake City, you're about an hour and 15 minutes to Salt Lake City. Uh, and also, Lehigh is probably another destination where a lot of people will drive to from Nephi, especially if they work at Silicon Slopes where they have a lot of the high-tech jobs. And you're about 50 minutes from Nephi to Lehigh. If you've enjoyed this video about the pros and cons of living in Nephi, Utah, you might also enjoy my pros and cons video about living in Payson, Utah. You can check out that video by clicking on the link.